Welcome to Minor Scales Worksheet Number 2, Writing Minor Scales. Now that we know how to build a minor scale, we're going to learn how to notate them on staff. We're going to start by using the example from Worksheet Number 1, C Major and A Minor. Let's start by writing out the C Major scale. And we'll use the triple clef for now keep things easy. So the C major scale has no sharps or flats, so we don't need to write anything in the key signature. We'll start on C and write out all the notes ascending, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I like to write a bar line in the middle and repeat the uh, top note. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. And always end with a double bar line at the end. Next, we'll write out A natural minor. To write the A natural minor, we don't need to make any changes to the key signature. All we do is start on A instead of C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Bar line, repeat the top note, and come back down. Double bar line at the end. Next, let's write a harmonic minor. And again, we'll stay in the treble clef. Now you'll recall that the only difference between A natural minor and A harmonic minor is the seventh note, which we have to raise from G to G sharp. So we'll have A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp A, and bar line, A, G sharp, F, E, D, C. B, A. Double bar line. And lastly, let's do A melodic minor. Remember that for the A melodic minor, we raise both the sixth and the seventh note going up, and we have to lower them back coming down. So now we have A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. And when you're descending, um, I like to ask my students to write courtesy accidentals to cancel the raised notes. So G natural, F natural, E, D, C, B, and A. Next, let's do the same thing, but this time for B flat major and G minor. And this time we'll have a key signature to deal with, so we'll see how that affects what we do. So let's first write out B flat major. B flat major has two flats, B flat and E flat. And we'll start on B flat and write an octave going up. And a bar line and an octave descending. And a double bar line at the end. Next, we'll do G natural minor. And because the relative major of G minor is B flat major, we need to use the same key signature as B flat major, which is B flat and E flat. And now we start on G instead of starting on B.
Next, let's do G harmonic minor. And again, we need the same key signature, which is B flat and E flat. We're going to start on G. And when we get to the seventh note, F, we need to raise it to become F sharp. Bar line and repeat coming down. And that's G harmonic minor. And finally, let's do G melodic minor. Same key signature again. Now we have to raise both the 6th and the 7th. And let's see what happens when we get to the 6th note. So we have G, A, B flat, C, D, and then we have an E flat. So we have to remember that that note is flat. So when we um, raise that note, it should be a natural. So E natural, F sharp, and G. And again, uh, when we're descending, I like to ask my students to um, use courtesy accidentals to cancel the raised notes. So we've got G, F natural, and then, careful, we've got to go back to E flat. D, C, B, A, G. So just be careful when you're raising and lowering notes, and make sure you're always checking the key signature. I hope that was um, easy to understand, um, and the steps were easy to follow. Um, minor scales can be a little tricky sometimes, but I think if you understand how they're put together and why they're written the way they are, then it makes it a lot easier.